Hey guys, it's Nancy with Better Life Blog, and today I am showing you a tutorial on how to make this cute um, and really pretty pumpkin. Um, I used my Heart of Leaves stencil to make it kind of look like the leaves are changing color. Um, this is using chalk paint, but you can also use um, acrylic paint as well. Um, I got this pumpkin from Michaels, and it was $5 on sale at the time, but you could probably use a coupon if it's not on sale, or uh, go check it out, it might still be on sale. So, um, the design of these leaves can be found in my fall bundle, so if you've already purchased it, look for it in there, it's in there. Um, and if you haven't purchased it, or if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. The link is in my description box, um, and it is loaded with stuff and um, it's an awesome value. I put together the cost of everything, of how much it would cost if you were to buy separately, and it would cost well over $50, which is also a really good deal, um, but I have bundled it all together, and it's only $18, and you get everything, and commercial use is included for those of you with small businesses. So check it out. Um, check out this video. Let me know if you like it by leaving a comment or giving me a thumbs up. And if you could also share it with somebody you love who loves crafting, that would be awesome. Um, my last video got over 100,000 views. So thank you guys so much. I'm glad it was enjoyed. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Um, and all right, enjoy the tutorial, you guys. Bye. So I'm starting out with this Aura Mask stencil vinyl and this design is really cool because it all comes off in one piece. So all I need is just the outside piece and I might be able to save the other piece for later. So that's kind of cool. So the hardest part about this project was actually applying the stencil vinyl and it took me a little bit of just kind of rubbing into the grooves and just making sure that everything was on right. And then I also went ahead and added some painter's tape to the sides just to make sure that I'm keeping everything clean. Okay, and so once all that's taped up, I took some Mod Podge and I just gently put uh, one very thin coat onto this to kind of help the paint from bleeding through. And then I just let it dry. The kind of paint that I'm using is this Waverly chalk paint. Um, you know, I probably could have used acrylic and it might have even been better to use acrylic, but this is just what I had on hand at the time. And I'm applying this with a makeup sponge. And each time I'm using a clean sponge and I'm kind of applying it in sections. And then I just kind of go back a little bit and I just blend between the two colors so that it has a really nice gradient in between there. So see right here how I'm going to kind of blend it in um, a little bit just so that it's a very soft transition between the orange and the yellow because I don't want it to look like a hard line. I just wanted it to blend in really, really well. Now this green actually came out a little bit lighter than I had hoped, but I'm still really pleased with the way that it turned out. It looks like changing fall leaves, which of course, is the most beautiful part of the autumn season. Okay, so I just let it dry for a couple minutes, and now I am removing the uh, painter's tape and the stencil vinyl. And there were a couple of pieces that bled through, but I just kind of cleaned it with a Q-tip, and it turned out so cute. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I've got some other tutorials coming your way, so make sure you look out for those, and I'll see you next time.